Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on swatches within Illustrator CS6. To begin with, a swatch is a saved color value. It shaves time off on your projects by keeping the value of the color within, its, within the memory of Illustrator so that you can quickly switch between the colors that you need. For example, here we have the great and powerful Trixie. And over here I have every single color that is with use in order to create her. But let's say for example that she wanted to masquerade as Twilight for Halloween. So all I need to do is open up Twilight's colors which I have saved here and then I can very quickly just select all the different strokes that make up Trixie and then choose Twilight Stroke Color. And this one didn't seem to change. Oh, that's because I got a different one that I meant to. Let's see. Now then, let's try that again, shall we? Nope, still the same one. Aha, here we go. I can also do this with her fill color, which I'll do in just a moment. Let's see. I'm going to switch over to her fill colors, which is right here. Now, again, I'm going to select all the objects that have a fill. And then I'm going to choose this. And then to do her darker color fill for her far body parts. And there we go. And now Twilight is masquerading as, or sorry, Trixie is masquerading as Twilight. She's getting a little bit obsessed in my opinion, but okay, now I'm just going to go through and undo everything that I just did so that I have the normal Trixie back. She looks better in blue anyway. <laughs> now, swatches, like I said, are a time-saving device. And I'm going to show you how to create your own swatches by using this color guide. Now, I already have a couple of derpy uh, swatches or uh, swatch groups saved up, but she's a very simple pony uh, with very few colors, so I'm going to use her as an example here. To start with, I'm going to switch to the eyedropper tool, which is found right here. Then I'm going to click on part of derpy, in this case her body fill, and this shows up right over here. Now I'm going to come over here to this little icon which says new swatch. It creates a new swatch as a color that is saved over here and I'm just going to name it body fill. And now the swatch color is saved here. Now I'm just going to very quickly go through and create an entire group of swatches from uh, Derpy's color guide. I'm not going to bother naming them to save time in the tutorial because they're very easy to change the name of. All you have to do is come back over here, double click on it, and now I, I can find all the different values, change the name, and do a couple of other things. And now I just need her cutie mark colors. And her eye gradients, which is the darker color and the lighter color. She also has eye highlights but unfortunately the creator of this guide didn't include them. Now, unfortunately I run into the issue of if I wanted to say change Trixie over to Derpy's colors. Well, they're only, the swatches are only saved over here. They're not saved over here. So, I've got a bit of a problem. I'm going to remove Twilights from the list for the moment. If I wanted to open derpies, then the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to create a new group out of these colors. So I'm going to come down here to the little folder icon that says new color group, click it, and name it derpy. Now I have an icon right here. Now uh, to create a group, all I have to do is drag all of these different colors down to the icon. So I'm going to shift click on each one of these to select them all at once. Or and then drag them down, and there we go. 
Now I have my very own derpy folder. So if I wanted to open it up, and I already have derpy saved, so I'm not going to, uh, I'll walk you through that at a later point. I have them saved here. And then I click this folder, and now they're imported. Now I'm just going to go in and individually close these because I don't need that many open. And I don't need this menu floating in the middle of my screen. Now, so now I can just go back in, select a couple of Trixie's colors. I'm going to go for the stroke color, and I'm going to turn parts of Trixie gray. As you can see, she's now gray in, as opposed to her original blue color. And that is, in essence, how swatches work. Now I'm going to walk you through actually saving a swatch group to a, a library. First I'm going to get rid of Derpy because I already have her saved and ready to go. But I don't have anything for Trixie. So again I'm going to create a new swatch group. I'm going to name it Trixie. And then I'm going to choose, let's see, to select all unused. Which apparently I haven't used these two. Ah, Yes. Okay, so I unfortunately have to click on each one of these individually. So I'm going to hold down Command or Control if you're on a PC, and I'm just going to left click these one time a piece. Uh oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Holding the Shadow Shift allows you to select an entire group. Unfortunately, it appears that it doesn't want to select all of them. So, I am failing at selection tonight. Okay, now that I've got them all, I'm just going to drag them down to the folder. And I'm going to save swatches. Now, for some odd reason, I have issues finding my swatches once I've saved them. Oops, this is not the way I want to save them. I want to save them as an ASE file. So, what I have to do is come over here to this icon. Click on it. Go down to say Swatch Library as ASE. And like I said, I have issues finding them once I've saved them, so I'm just going to save it in my pictures folder. And then I'm going to bring up Finder. I'm going to go to pictures, and as you can see, here's the ASE file. Now, I'm just going to click and drag this over to my applications. Then to Adobe Illustrator CS6, Presets, ENUS, Swatches. And I have a folder dedicated to all of the pony uh, vectors that I create, so I put all of my swatches for them in here. As you can see, Trixie goes along with Twilight and Winona and all the other characters that I typically have a vector of. And now, if I come into and open the Swatch Library, and I go to my ponies folder, there's Trixie right alongside Twilight. And that is how swatches work within Illustrator. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for listening and good night.